This conference will now be recorded. Hey, hi, uh, my name is Sujit. I will be the instructor for this training program. And uh, my experience is of total 12 plus years of experience in IT. I have five years I worked as a Java developer and uh, after that I worked as a MuleSoft developer on Mule3. And uh, I am totally having five plus years of experience in corporate trainings, including retail, corporate, online, everything. This is a, my 117th batch on Mule 4 alone. Around 1500 people train under me uh, on this Mule 4. And one of the most uh, achievement I have here is none of the none of the participants who attended my training program failed in the certification. No one has failed till now. That is the record I have. Right. And uh, why I am talking about a certification? That is the most valuable thing which will add it to your resume when you are looking for a job change or domain change or looking as a freshers also. If you are a MuleSoft certified developer, that will be given an added advantage to you. So my training program will help you to clear the certification with a cakewalk, like a cakewalk. Okay. So again, everything will be here practical oriented. All real time scenarios will be replicated as a POCs and every session will be having one documentation you need to follow the documentation and you need to practice on your own right i will guide you how to practice and on daily basis i will be giving the assignments also so with the help of this documentations and everything you will be getting a fully hands on experience on this tool okay i am trying to give a platform here on a mulesoft i am not telling like i will be covering all the concepts what are available in mule 4 i mean especially in mule around 300 plus modules are there which cannot be covered by uh, the in the training part so i'm trying to give a platform of all varieties of integration with the knowledge when you deploy in the real time scenarios uh, you are in a position to understand the requirement and you can clear or you can write the logic on your own that is the ultimate idea here okay and and again when i come back to the certification certification just like that by using the question and answers we cannot clear it up I will be giving the questions dumps and all that is secondary but the point is the concept what i am teaching if you are thorough with that concepts on daily basis following the assignments whatever the question they give you will be in a position to clear that that is the idea not by following the question and answers uh, blindly not for that not required training program just follow the question and answers you will clear, you will clear that but the point is you need to understand the concepts uh, around 60 varieties of questions i will be giving to you so that you need to practice all that on your own then only you will be uh, exposed to the different kind of uh, scenarios okay so this is about myself and uh, uh, how you will be getting hands on experience so and this training program is totally divided i mean especially this demo session is totally divided into three parts and i am going to use this board uh, instead of PPTs, okay? And our batch timing will be of 7.30 a.m. in IST. 7.30 a.m. in IST, in Indian Standard Time. Okay, please convert into your local timings if you are from abroad, okay? Please answer. So this training, pro this demo part, especially divided into three parts. First, I will be discussing about uh, uh, use case. What is a mule? You'll understand from this use case as integration developer, where you stand and how it works. With the real example, I will explain. Okay, everything to pictorial only. Okay, I'm not going to show you any technicality here. It's very, very too early to uh, talk about technicality. Uh, even in my training program, once you start uh, to go to the AnyPoint platform to create a small project, it will take three to four sessions. Before that, you need to understand what is a mule. What is the hierarchy of a mule application? What is the architecture of any point platform? All these things you need to understand before starting of any first project. Straight away, if you take it to first project, you will not understand anything behind the scenes, how it works and all. So in my training, it will take at least three sessions to start practically, okay? And uh, first I will talk about the use case. Then I will talk about uh, how you will be getting a hands-on experience that means what are the resources what are the resources i'm going to provide to get a hands-on experience okay and uh, let me tell you honestly this type of resources you will not get anywhere in the market i spent a lot of time to create a user-friendly documentation okay next uh, 
I will be talking about what are the prerequisites to learn this course. Absolutely zero, not required any prerequisite. But I mean, for this course, when you move, when you want to shift your career from any other domain to uh, IT domain, definitely you require some prerequisites, not restricted or not uh, specified to MuleSoft. Anywhere, if you are moving to another domain, you need to have some prerequisite that what are the prerequisites I will tell you that is the knowledge wise and the system requirements what are the system requirements in order to work with a mule soft okay that I will discuss so from this demo session I mean you should be patient enough it will take one hour of time uh, from this demo session you will understand how to go with this course that means uh, how you will get a hands-on experience so use case a prerequisites everything will be discussed in that demo session itself finally you will be in a position to take a call whether to join this session or not okay that is the ultimate idea so let me start with the use case first and before starting i just want to give some suggestions to the people who are coming from non it background i know many people will be coming from non it background uh, I mean, uh, this is out of my 117 batches. I have seen 70% of non IT people only. 70% understand that part. So, this MuleSoft tool is user friendly. That is why it is so popular in the market in integration platform. Why it is so user friendly? Everything is a drag and drop option. Once you drag and drop, automatically the logic is written behind the scenes by the MuleSoft itself. You need to drag and drop that. That is why it is so easy. People from non it background, they, they feel it is very easy instead of writing a logic, right? At the same time, many people will understand and they think that they require some Java knowledge to learn this course. Absolutely zero Java knowledge required to learn this course. Absolutely zero. Okay. Uh, I don't know from where that rumor has spread. I don't know about it. But the point is, if you have a Java knowledge, that is an added advantage to you. Okay. It doesn't mean that you required a Java knowledge. And this entire MuleSoft is application is designed by using a Java language. Understand the differences? This application is designed by using a Java language. Doesn't mean that you require a Java knowledge. Everything is a drag and drop. See, for example, you're using an Android mobile. Example, do you need to know how to how they designed it? Or else just you need to know how to play with that application. Hopefully just to play with that application, right? The same thing we are going to learn in our sessions, how to use that new application, how you can write a logic, a, a, I mean, uh, as for the requirement, that's what we are going to learn in our sessions, right? That is why I said zero Java knowledge is required. For a glance, just one minute I will tell you, this is your any point studio where you will write all the logic. From where I'm drag and dropping all these options from the right side. There is something called library, from that library, you are drag and drop the options. Let's take and drag and drop this one. See, I'm just dropping here. Behind the scenes, for this HW flow one configuration XML, the logic got created. You no need to create anything. Automatically, it is created. Okay. So I don't want to show much about a listener or anything on the first demo session itself. I just want to give a glance on that. Okay. So let me talk about the use case. Any questions? You can stop there itself and ask me. No need to wait till the end of the sessions. Whenever you have a question, stop me there itself and ask me the questions. Okay, not a problem. Even though it is taking five minutes of additional time, least bother about it. Right? Because I want you to understand thoroughly every concept. And my sessions from day one, from demo session, the sessions to be an interactive sessions. That is the key point to take the course live sessions, right? Just watching the watching the videos. Every day I will be sharing the videos. That is a, there is no issue. I will be sharing the videos. But the point is, when I'm teaching the concept, please interact. I will be keep on asking questions. Keep on asking questions. Just interact with me. Give the giver your responses. Please be attentive to the session. That is a key factor in order to learn any concepts. Okay. Keep in mind interactive sessions. Otherwise, you can take from Udemy or anywhere, right? The same courses. Now, see, concepts are anywhere same. The teaching will be different. Uh, the approach is different, right? That's what I want you to think in the same way. Let me talk about one use case. See, uh, everyone from India only? Anyone from abroad? 
but anyone from abroad here please unmute your mics and respond started uh, our interactive sessions are started uh sujit uh, i i live in us but uh, i'm from hyderabad okay okay then you might know about renbus yeah yeah okay anyone from abroad who i'm, I'm from us to sujit okay us native citizen or from india huh are you an indian or us no uh, no I'm, f i'm from africa africa okay yes okay um okay please try to understand this example i'm taking one example like a uh, uh, product comparison site instead of redbus uh, which is familiar to everyone i will take this uh, example there is one web application let's take this is one web application application name is smart tricks i will go a little bit slow guys okay i will go a little bit slow smart tricks is a product comparison website he is a client who asked me to develop this web application with some requirements what are his requirements his requirements are he want whenever any user walk into website and if we type for any of the product detail or the latest iphone for iphone series 13 iphone 13 whenever he click on clicked on the search button that means any user if he click on a search button that request should go to multiple e-commerce applications let's take two e-commerce applications can you please name two e-commerce applications Amazon, Amazon, Amazon and eBay. And eBay. Okay. Okay. Now let's take this iPhone format in Amazon is like this. What are the details? Can you please name two features of Amazon? What should be displayed to the client when they are purchasing? Yeah. iPhone 13. What are the details? Most wanted details. Color. Huh? color and price color and price right so let me take that iphone 13 here also the field name they have given as what color and the price right uh, let's take the color is black okay here here also oh, what could be the color color alternate word for the color no well, features okay. Uh, no, 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 I want the same thing. Maybe the field name is in different. C O L O U R. Here they will use K O L O R. Okay, let's C O L O R. Okay, C O L O R, whatever it is, different names. Here it is white. Okay, a price. Here they have given the price tag as one lakh. Let's say here instead of price, uh, the feature is. Uh, I mean, they have given the field name as rate 1.1 lakh. Okay, this is the format they have in the Amazon and the eBay respectively. But my smart tricks application, when a user send a request, the request should go to these two e commerce applications concurrently. What do you mean by concurrently? Same time. Concurrently means parallelly, similar time, same time, right? Concurrently. Okay. Now, once they send a request, with this information, they will be sending a response back. With this information, the response will be sent back. Who is sending the request to multiple applications at the same time? There is something in between, which will take one request as an input, convert into multiple requests. Let's take this is your integration application which will connect to the smart tricks application when smart tricks application send a request here my integration application will listen for the request and there is one component let's take there is one logic where it will take this single request as an input convert into multiple request multiple requests and then it is sent to the amazon application and ebay application so what kind of a component it is you use at your home also all the electronic devices are connected to that particular component where it will take the internet signal from outside and it will scatter to all the devices you connected what is that 
router it's a router right let's take this is a router which will scatter the request to all at the same time that is responsible to gather the response also so we will call this as a scatter gather router okay now what is the output from the scatter gather router to different responses right now second requirement is first requirement successfully completed sending the request to all the applications second requirement is two different formats to be converted into single format like a json let's take json format and the two response to be concatenated together and to be displayed on a single page that is a third requirement okay so who will do this converting from json to i mean uh, different formats to another format and concatenated there is one important tool in uh, integration platform not only in mulesoft very very important tool which will convert from one format to another which will transform one format to another format and whatever the logic you want to write any logic you can write in that what is that transformer here we can write some logic where it will take this as an input concatenate together and concatenate data to be displayed in a json format so that logic i can write in the transform so finally at the end of the integration application what is the ultimate response yeah concatenated data with a json will be given back to the client so what is the concatenated data what i am trying to do from the input from the scatter gather that means the color and price color and rate the values i am going to extract black white 1k 1 1 lakh and 1.1 lakh so if the details are coming from amazon there should be an image of amazon and what is the color black and 1 lakh if it is coming from ebay what is the color white 1.1 lakh so i am concatenating these two fields together and one more requirement is having he want to map these values to his own field that means he may use c o l o r here the field name and here instead of price and rate he want to map it to uh, let's give any other field cost sujit i have a question yes please uh, what happens if uh, ebay format is like uh, instead like a color and rate right it is a uh, rate and color whereas the amazon is like a color and rate okay how do you know like uh, uh, when mm -hmm. you are getting a string like you know how do you know that uh, is a as it just character string or a, a numeric string that is defined in the metadata of the incoming payload incoming body whether it is string okay. or what is the integer it is already defined in the format that based on the metadata from the transformer in the transformer we are trying to invoke the field value if it is payload we will call this as a payload whatever the body you are getting we will call this payload you will write as payload dot in that payload which field you want to invoke either color or color color or price or a rate what you want to invoke if i invoke color what is the field i want to map it to okay color is equal i mean i am mapping that this value to color that means this is the this is the field name coming from the third party applications which i am mapping in the data view sorry in which i am mapping in the transformer to my client format and then i am displaying here okay about this conversions and all i'm trying i'm going to help you i mean i will teach you in a transformer part when i talk about it got it no need to worry about this we are going to use one language called data view language in mule we use data view language in order to convert from one format to another format another field to another field and all so i'm just giving a overview as integration developer what you are going to do okay in this session 
someone asked the question when who is this krishna is it krishna yeah, yeah. i got it okay. yeah got it. so the point is as an integration developer what you are trying to do you are going to take the requirement from the client accordingly you will be writing some logic right which will connect or integrate with the third party applications and get the data and converting according to the client format by using the data view language in the format and then finally the response is given back to the client and it is displayed in his desired format okay simple example i will don't think too much of about it we are going to see the roles and responsibility of an integration developer slowly in our use cases one by one got it understand yes, yes. no yes yes this is a client this is a third party application to establish a connection between these two parties dynamically we are writing an integration logic so you are going to act as a integration developer so if two applications want to communicate with each other what is the idea if two applications want to connect with each other what is an idea how they will connect if you are there you are speaking spanish another person is speaking is speaking chinese how they will communicate with each other what are the ideas you need uh, some common language some common language required okay okay let's take common language only so this matrix application is written on java let's take and uh, this amazon written in dot net and this is in python okay some i mean different languages how they will communicate some common language required even this integration application is also written on some other language let's take java java language only how all these applications are communicating with each other they need to have a, some common language those are nothing but a, yes web services web service. what are the two web services we have so and rest every application should expose the services the logic inside that should be exposed as a either rest api or a so apis okay what one of the prerequisite to learn i mean not only mule soft anywhere in it industry what is one of the prerequisite web services web concept. services yeah. basic web service i'm talking about a very very basic web service concept if you if anyone not aware of web service concept it will take couple of days to start my training program by that time please go through this youtube channel called java brains in youtube java brains in that first video sorry sorry sir in the java brains just type for soap in that first video okay in that first video you will understand the basics of web services that is enough for our training that is enough for our training okay hardly it will take 20 minutes of time okay for you if you repeatedly see it will take 1 hour of time okay please spend this 1 hour of time in order to understand the web services not only here any tool anywhere in it if you want to move forward this knowledge is important okay now uh, so from this use case if smart tricks application is sending a request to consume the services what i created in integration application my integration application should expose as an api so here we are going to use rest as a web service to expose that application and whenever we are sending a request from your mule application to third party application that services also should expose as a api so every application should expose their services as an api that is nothing but a universal language okay so as integration developer what you are going to do you are going to create an api first for the requirement then you are going to write a logic so entire sdlc we are going to see in our first session i am going to talk about this example in depth what is the point to point integration what is an uh, 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 what is the esb why the esb came into the picture all these things we are going to see uh, from our sessions okay yeah. that's it. that's about the use case any questions here in the use case Yes, please. 
a question here. Yeah, yes, please. Where can we use the postman in these scenarios? Currently, that you have showed like uh, this smart price and everything, right? Postman. Actually, we should. Okay. Client. We are going to use client to make some rest calls to test the mule application. We are going to use a postman to send the request. This is your postman, which is going to act as a client. From here, we are going to send a request to your mule application to test. Okay. I'm going to introduce all these concepts slowly one by one in our sessions whenever it is required. Got it? Yeah, and uh, Sujit, like uh, uh, we can install any point under all this postman yeah. without all any, uh, without any, I mean, all, all these this laptops are written in. All these softwares and the tools, whatever required to the training program, everything will be taken care of by me only. Just to follow my instructions. Whenever you want to install a particular software, I will let you know on that particular time. Okay. So you can install basically this any point studio is not an installation on your voice. It is an application setup. How to set up that applications? All these things will go in a sequential manner, right? Every single step by step you are going to see. First of all, from this session, I want you to understand about a what is a mule? What as a mule sort developer? What is your role? That is the main idea here. Shall we move forward? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So next, I explained about a use case as a mule sort developer. What is your role and all? Next, how you will be getting a hands-on experience? See, in this use case itself, we have seen some concepts: router, transformer, data wave. All these, all these are concepts. You, if you want to write a logic in a mule. You need to know about these concepts. So to learn about these concepts, what are the topics I'm going to cover, and how you will be getting a uh, hands-on with the help of a practice sessions. Let me explain all this in a sequential way by following the PPT. Only for the demo session, I use PPT. Apart from that, nowhere you can see the PPT. Right? Okay. So we are going to discuss about Mule 4. If you are a Mule 3 user, well and good. If you're not a Mule 3 user, you're learning Mule 4 for first time, please treat this as a new tool. There is no relation between Mule 3 and a Mule 4. If you're new, learning Mule 4, please learn this as a new tool, not required any Mule 3 knowledge. Okay. And Mule 4 is the major version change which is introduced in 2018, 2018 June. Right. From there onwards, it is Mule 4. Mule is Mule 4 is totally modularized. It's a very, very easy tool to learn. Trust me, it's very, very easy, easy tool to learn, right? And it's a very vast tool as well. Lot of information is present inside that. It's a very, it's like a version, right? So what is required as a developer that we learn in our sessions. And we are aiming, and one more thing, what is the latest version of a Mule soft? I mean, Mule 4.x represents a mean minor version change like again 4. That means Mule 4.4 .4 is the latest version. Okay. That's what we are going to learn in our sessions as well. Next, we are going to target MCD level 1 certification. That means Mule Soft Certified Developer Level 1. There is no level 2 and all for developer. There is only one level, MCD level 1. Okay. And trust me, if you follow my instructions in the sessions, you can easily clear the certification with a, just like that. Okay, and how you will be getting a hands-on experience out of this uh, training program? I'm going to give two zip files to you: Mule 4 2021 and Mule 4 Softwares. Two zip files. So who are enrolled to the training program? I mean, who paid the fees to your coordinators? They need to confirm it. Though you are enrolled to the training program, then uh, to your mail ID, I will be sharing my drive access with the two zip files. You need to download and keep it ready on your desktop. That's it. That's it. You need to do before starting of the sessions. You need to download these two zip files and keep it ready. What are these two zip files? Let's go with the first one. Mule 4 software's new. I extracted that. Uh, where it is? Uh, yeah. Once I extract that, you can see all the softwares required to the training program. Everything given, downloaded and given to you in a one zip file. No need to go to the respective folders and no need to get it done, right? Not required, no need to download. I already given that 
and you can uh, use this zip files also in order to install at the same time i will show you how to download directly from the website also okay when the latest version comes uh, Mm, this version is no more uh, required right so at that point of time how to download the new versions uh, i will show you that path also okay next time these are the softwares these are the softwares required for the training program next uh, when you come to the another folder another folder uh, mule 42021 new this is what the beauty here comes i have two folders here one is documents and one are projects right so from day i mean day 3 onwards whenever you are going to start with the projects you are going to work with any point studio any point studio is nothing but a platform where you will create all your mule applications where you will create mule logic and all so first hello world program you will create on your own that means your own project i will explain each and every window here so we are going to create your own project hello world after that we are going to start with the modules one by one so for each and every module i have created a beautiful documentation user friendly documentation i am going to say so let me open one of the document here uh, can you please name to open one of the document i will open that document yes which document should i open it's up to you tell me one externalization or database api Any? management api management api management database <laughs> anything is okay <laughs> <laughs> api management i will show you because that is most important part so this is my personal organization way to learn that's fine see i have given a screenshots and wherever i required what i am going to explain in my sessions uh, everything is crystal clearly written with a simple english language so that anyone from each every other domain should understand the concept here that is my ultimate idea so i have written in a very simple english language by when you come to this point when you are reading this document you already heard my session you already watched my video by that time you have a fair idea about what you are reading here right so you need to treat this as a requirement document and you need to start practicing where you will practice see just i'm scrolling it down just for understanding i have given a screenshot step by step process here all my documentations will be in the same way someone asked for a database endpoint let me open that as well yeah see in this lab you will be working on zero and so and so project uh, open so and so file how to use a database everything is crystal clearly designed and clear let me i mean unnecessarily open this uh, microsoft okay so everything is still clearly written step by step process step by step process just you need to read this and you need to implement it that is the only thing expected from you right so in the session already i'm going to explain each and every point within uh, with a clear, clear details some people may not able to understand in single go that's why i'm sharing the recording once you understand the recording don't practice while watching the recording never ever you will remember the concepts if you follow the same in that pattern first to understand the concept by watching the video or understanding my session by attending my session once you understand the concept then open the document and read the requirement and write it on your own that is that is the best way to practice on daily okay based on my experience i'm telling you and my suggestions it's up to you i mean how you want to how you are uh, uh, flexible enough right uh, yeah let me come back so these are the documents once you read the document where you will practice you will require from platform that is nothing but any point studio how to set up this any point studio before starting of this any point studio what are the environment variables to set up all these things we will discuss okay based on this and uh, i said first project only you will be creating on your own from next project onwards uh, you are going to import the pre defined projects given to you for every topic for every topic if you can see i have followed one approach start and solution start and solution you need to import a start project every time by reading the document you need to start practicing on the start project right start project some other batch 6:30 am batch i have not yet uh, started with second project i mean hello world project that's why i created uh, next time from next session onwards i am going to import the project from the workspace the workspace what i have given to you so you need to import the start project and you need to practice on that right solution project why is the solution project for the requirement what i have given the solution is already given in that solution project 
when while you are practicing maximum don't open the solution project if you're running out of time if you're not able to crack the answer for that then only go to the solution project and refer the answer is already given there you don't need to waste the time for my response to that till, till the next session any which was i will give my once you enroll to the training program i will give my whatsapp number you can text me the uh, questions whatever if you stuck up somewhere before that i want you to do that some due diligence on that okay before coming to me so that it's a learning practice if you're learning if you're searching for b you will come to know what is a what is c what is d and all. that is also one other learning practice right so if i feel it's a very small and simple answer i will not respond to the question i will not respond to the question you need to understand you can you can only get the answer for that okay so all these things we will go and see in our session slowly one by one okay this is the documentation i am giving and uh, these are the projects i am giving to get a fully hands on experience on the concepts understand then use case is done what are the resources i am providing i have shown you right let me talk about the topics i am going to cover here is the ppt here so this is about uh, what are the resources i am sharing and uh, what are the system requirements you required? You required minimum 8 GB RAM, minimum 8 GB RAM, and Windows 10 mission or 11 mission. Uh, in my training program, I'm going to use 10 mission. So it's up to you, 10 or 11. If you're using Mac also, it's fine. Installation setup only different, but from everything is same. Okay, but 90% of the people who are having Windows, that's why I'm explaining concepts in Windows mission. Windows 10 or 11, uh, and uh, minimum RAM size is. 8 GB. If you have 16 GB, which is recommendable, right? That's it. These are the system requirements you have. Yeah. I'll quickly go through the topics. Of course, many people from non IT background and uh, different uh, domains may not able to understand the concept. I will just summarize it. First, we will see what is a point to point integration. Let me open the use case. What is the point to point integration? If smart text application directly connected to the Amazon application and eBay application, that is called point to point integration. What are the problems we have with that? And how to overcome the problems of point to point with the help of an ESB? This is an ESB. How to overcome the problems of an ESB? And few concepts, mere what integration concepts. Yes. What is ESB means? I will explain in the session. Okay. I'm talking about this part. Is an it is an ESP. What I have drawn in this picture is an ESP. Okay. In detail, okay. I will explain that in a sessions. In a sec I'm just summarizing it. Okay. So, what are the concepts uh, in integration platform required? Not only respective to the mule in general integration platform orchestration concept. What is a mule? What is the hierarchy of a mule application? How it looks like? What is an architecture of any point platform? Let me show you. Uh, other batch uh, drawings. So when I talk about an ESB, this one, web services, I give an gist of that. So open rest. Yeah, what is a loose coupling? What is a logical coupling? And uh, what is a channel? And uh, what is an ESB at final? I'm going to explain with the use case. Here also I've taken a smart fix application use case. Then we will move on to uh, what is an orchestration? What is a mule application? First, we'll see orchestration with a picture, with a diagram. Then we'll move on to uh, what is the hierarchy of a mule application. Then we'll move on, move on to uh, what is an SDLC. And in that SDLC, how you can point out in the any point platform. This is the architecture of any point platform. What are the applications present in the any point platform? So what is the use of the any point platform account? It's a single, I mean, single uh, single liner, I'm going to explain each and every application. And practically we are going to see when I'm going to create a banking application at the end. So when you complete this first module, you will be having a fair idea about what is a mule, uh, entirely, I mean, entire, entire thing about what is a mule. Okay, you will be in a position. Then I'm going to start with first allowable project. So in this sequence, this, this particular session is very very important if you understand this concept you are almost through with the mule soft take it as a grant if you are able to understand this particular picture you are you are through with the mule soft even though it is a hollow world project any complex project also will follow the same right 
so this session is very very important hello world session and in that process i will try to introduce small data view expression language i shown you in the picture before in the transformer we are going to use a language called data view so that is the data view language given by the mule soft to do the transformation logic so whenever you see there is a lab please understand that we have a lab, lab document for that we have a lab document with the topic mule basics we'll talk about a mule basics like that whenever you see the lab understand there is a lab document for that next we are going to start with the modules mule is totally about the modules let's see here one module http is one module which is having some connectors socket is one module like that connectors so if you want to add any module click on add modules we can see list of modules mule is totally about the modules right you need to add a module to your project for every module there will be have a connectors which is having a connections mule is totally about the modules and the connections first module we are going to use here is java module some java developer has given a class to you how you are going to invoke that methods present in the class by using a java module so here we are concentrating on java module not java language understand that by seeing the java many people get panic they require java knowledge not it. okay how to consume that by using an integration application in that java module we are going to explain so here we have a lab for that till module 3 we have created a hello world project and a java module project and we deployed that application in the development environment in the embedded runtime of your anypoint studio in the development environment now i want to deploy the java module application in a production server how you are going to deploy that what are the deployment strategies we have we are going to discuss in our module 4 so stand alone deployment strategy hybrid deployment strategy cloud up deployment strategy runtime fabric deployment strategy out of that first two will be discussed in a module 4 next one more type of integration how to consume third party rest api and soap api let me go back to the picture what i just discussed in our session yeah here am i consuming any rest api or soap api here for my integration application are you able to see yes right amazon may be exposed as a rest ebay may be exposed as a so maybe that means the two applications are exposed as an api that's what i said in order to connect with any other application that application should expose the services as an apis so here we are we need to know how to consume third party rest api how to consume third party soap api and we have a respective labs for that and if you have any file system in your environment how to consume how to you how to read the file how to process the file how to write to a file so file and point integration we are going to see next one more type of integration if you are if you want to connect with any external database how we are going to connect how you are going to add that as a dependency to your project a mule project and what is the module to be used how once you connect how you are going to externalize that properties to migrate between the environments and how you are going to uh, secure that property file right so by using some 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 method what is that method i will discuss and we have a two labs for that and watermark very important how your project is going to store the state of the application that is nothing but a watermark and object store in detail with the practical we will show in a in a scenario in the uh, session and domains as a developer if you have a common logic across what you will do you will write somewhere and reuse it correct in a same way this domain mule is totally about the configurations how you are going to store the configurations which are repeated in one go and in one place and how you are going to reuse that that is called domains how to create your own domains how to use the custom domains all these things we are seeing now domains topic and we have a lab for that and we are going to do a project there itself and routing there are multiple routers out of that scatter gather is one of the important router in this use case are you able to see the scatter gather router and at the same time choice router also so when you come to the module 10 you have a fair idea about a mule and you have some knowledge con conceptual knowledge and practical knowledge and few concepts right so few topics so putting all this together i'm going to give one small project i'm going to give some requirement putting all this together with the help of a scatter gather you are, i want you to create this project okay i will help you 
in giving some requirements, some hints. You need to complete that. So at that moment, you will understand whether you are able to understand the concept, whether you are able to write any logic on your own or not. By this time, you will understand your there so that you need to switch your gears, whether to spend more time or less time, whether you are able to understand the concept with easily. All this everything you can self-assess, right? Next, JMS endpoint. One more integration, uh, which you are going to deal with the queues and topics where you are going to send the message to the queue, publishing the message, uh, consuming the message, and publishing and waiting for the to consume the message. All these things we are going to use by using a JMS module. And uh, till now we learn about the concepts, different type of integrations, right? Once you connect with a third-party application, get the data. How you are going to convert the data into your client format? By using a transformer with the help of database language, right? So we have a multiple two to three sessions on a transformer with the help of we have to write a data view expressions. It's a very, very powerful in mule with the combination of transformer and data view. We can convert from one format to any other format by simply by writing a simple one line or two lines. Okay. Very, very important, very useful going forward in the real time also. And how I will guide you how to go with the complex scenarios also, which is not part of our sessions at, a, at that point of a transforms and exception handling. It is quite common everywhere in any programming language. Here also it is same, the concept is same, but how to use in your mule application by using a different strategies, we are going to see in our exception handling session. We are going to see in our exception handling session. So multiple strategies like how to create your own errors, how to write your, uh, I mean, how to map the errors, what is a continuous scope, what is the propagate scope, how to use a try scope, um, whether you need to write a parent exception first or a child exception first, all these strategies we are going to see in our exception handling. Very important, very one of my favorite topic out of all. So exception handling. Trust me, if you understand the concept that I'm teaching in exception handling, I'm going to cover almost all scenarios. You don't need to practice also. Okay, purely conceptual business exception handling is. And Amunit. Actually, Amunit is not part of any fundamental courses, but I introduced this one because sometimes as a developer, you may end up in writing some test cases on your own, right? So at that point of time, you should not be a blank how to write a test cases by using this Amunit framework. Amunit framework is given by the MuleSoft. Okay. Um, and uh, we'll see how to write a sample test cases by using this M unit and what are the strategies we have in order to validate it as a that type of right. Till now, what do you have done? We learned about how to create a logic inside an ESB. But what is the SDLC software development life cycle? Tell me in a sequence. Once you gather the requirement, what you'll do? We will design an API, correct? That means a contract. We are going to establish a con contract between the client and you. That is nothing but an API, right? How you are going to create an API? Yeah, if you are creating a REST API, there are some parameters. How to create? First of all, before going to that, you need to understand what is the power of an API, why we need to create an API, and you need to have an understanding without an API, with an API. Then only you'll understand what is the power of an API, right? So with an example, I will explain what is the traditional approach, and what is the API approach? So here we are going to see first what is the API led connectivity, how important it is in modern days about these three layers: experience layer, process layer, and system layer. So with these three layers, how you are going to achieve the reusability, security, and all when you compare with the traditional approach. Once you understand the different layers and the API led connectivity, here comes we are going to create one banking application. We will be having some text requirement from client. Okay, for that client, how you are going to design an API? We are going to see in our session, our mule application going to expose as a REST API. So in order to design a REST API, we use RAML, RESTful API modeling language. You know one thing, you have certification for RAML also specifically in mule. If you go through my concepts about RAML. See, in the lab documentation only, you have you can see um, RAML doc zip file. If you open that huge documentation I have given on RAML, okay, where you are going to learn from scratch, from line one, 
if you understand all this concept what i'm teaching in ravel you are in a position to clear the ravel certification also not only that you will be in a position to understand the existing ravel and you can create your own ravel files also so finally you are going to create banking api for that you are creating your own ravel files and you are going to simulate the response to get a feedback from a client by giving a sample data right and you are going to publish that api to use internally at your organization level at the same time you can share to the client external client to get a feedback that is called simulation and what is this any point exchange where you are going to publish the aps in order to use internally right that is called designing an api once you design an api and writing the implementations will you not secure your api how to secure your api by using some proxy and not only proxy <clears throat> by creating a policies what is a proxy what is an api what is a policies how to apply the policies all these things we are going to see in our and end of the application that means banking application so finally you will understand from the requirement till applying the policies last but not the least we will be understanding about one more deployment strategy cloud cloud hub deployment strategy what is this cloud hub cloud hub is nothing but an ipas integration platform as a service this platform is created by mulesoft with the help of some infrastructure aws infrastructure internally so what is this cloud hub how you can deploy your mule applications on the cloud hub environment what are the changes you need to do at your application level while you're creating if you're needing to deploy under the cloud okay from on premises to cloud if you want to deploy what are the changes you need to do at your application level that we are going to see one more topic i not introduced here in the ppt that is batch module very important i'm going to talk about that match batch module in this sessions what is the batch module to process large files how we are going to use a batch module okay that's all yeah any questions i told you what are the topics i'm going to cover right i don't i got talk about a use case how you as a mule soft developer how you are going to act and how you will be get a hands on experience on each and every topic with the resources what i provide and certification wise i can help you if you don't have any voucher to write a certification i will help with some discounted vouchers to my candidates and uh, certification wise you can simply ignore if you follow my instructions it's a cake work for you none of them fail till now out of my 1500 you can understand uh, what about security like api security or ssl certificates sdps around uh, around 22 22 certificates are there sorry so policies are there i just uh, i told you now uh, i will be explaining about couple of policies security policies if you can see here api policies okay right couple of policies i can explain not all well, because everyone should have some prior knowledge on oauth and all right so the same concept applies here also how you apply some other policy same way other policies also can be applied i will show you the way how to apply mm -hmm. i see yeah and uh, what about uh, covering uh, any uh, ci cd or deployment no, using ci cd no. that is not any specific to mule soft that is not any specific to mule soft it's quite quite common how you will apply for other applications ci cd process pipeline process is also same here which i not included here this is the basic agenda sorry standard agenda from the mule soft which is approved mm, i see that that that's very simple ci cd that and all yeah yeah Okay. How many classes? Uh, how many yeah. sessions? Yeah, yeah. So totally, these all the modules I'm going to cover in uh, 30 working hours from my side. 30 working hours from my side. So how much you spend on your own? That totally depends on you. Okay. My recommendation: at least one hour apart from my session, you need to spend on daily basis. any which was it's a monday to friday session in ist so that uh, uh, you have a time of weekend couple of days if any i know people are working they might not having a time on daily basis uh, that's why I, purposefully i have given a weekend uh, gap to complete the assignments what i given in the week so that everyone will be on the same page from the, when the uh, starts like week starts 
everything is clear crystal clearly designed no hurry hurry i will go slowly in order to make you understand everyone i want everyone to understand the concept finally i will be keep on asking the questions to each and every individuals on daily basis i will keep on giving the assignments so finally i want you to have something out of my session not just by paying the amount as attending the sessions i don't believe in that i want the interactive session so that i can understand who is responding who are in the same page or not okay any questions please when is the class going to start um uh, your coordinator will let you know about it in couple of days i mean not couple of days not even i think day after day after tomorrow we are going to start a sessions okay. one day gap i am giving in order to take a call to gather the people to make Okay. Rafi, still I didn't get the confirmation from you. Said that who is the coordinator, so that I can go back and ask them. Uh, what's the timing? Seven thirty to. Seven thirty to eight. That same time. Monday okay. to Friday from I in I S T. Okay, seven thirty to eight thirty. Yes, yes. Okay. So I just want. Um, no coding is required for this course one more important question will be raised by everyone coding coding we will not call this as a coding we will call this as a transformation logic i am right to write coding means java language that is called coding python language that is called coding here there is no coding yeah and sujit like in the mules of we are having like developer integration operations and platform right so here huh? we are going to deal only with in mule soft like we are having we are going to be talking about architecture that is different but okay, i so currently you, we are handling here sorry and let me complete i understand your yeah. question you are you are talking about architecture integration architecture solutions platform architecture solutions correct yeah. so mm. we are we are discussing about developer course this is a developer course so developer course okay. yeah which is the first step for going to the architecture so but once you complete this developer certification i will guide you how to approach to the architecture integration solutions as well okay if you follow my instructions again you can clear the certification on architecture solutions also okay yeah yeah thank you any questions please any questions please no no questions no, no questions <laughs> <laughs> hope i explained everything <laughs> if there is no questions means uh, two things can happen either you understood entire fully correct or uh, <laughs> not understand anything in sessions also in the same way right if you don't have any questions means either you understood fully or not understand anything two things can happen yeah and i guess feeling. excited to learn more thank you and hopefully see you in our sessions guys how many yeah. of you are interested to continue to the sessions can i get a count i am interested i like think count me in count me in i i mean let me let me let me note it down Sumit, right? Sumit, you are yeah. interested. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, you can call me in, Mubarak. Mubarak. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Me. Question. Yes. Hello. Someone is speaking. That's why I thought it's yeah. Prashant. Yeah, continue. Okay. Anyone else? Kishore, Sumit, sure. Prashant, Mubarak. Anyone else? Supriya. Supriya. Okay. Anyone else? That, that's it. Shubham. Shubham. Krishna. 
ट्रेनिंग राइट नौ currently to one mnc they are freshers right at the same time if you are having a gap and only to tell on the record you have some other ways to get in but the openings are there ganga i think you have the question yes see job you can get by using a proxy or something else that is not important after getting a job sustaining is important right so that you need to have knowledge at any cost definitely you need to have a knowledge training is most important even before getting the job right based on my experience i'm telling uh, what i mean i have seen a lot of cases like this right so first knowledge is important once you have a grip on the knowledge you can speak with anyone about the job or about the interviews or whatever it is Yes. That's all from my end. I need to get a confirmation from Krishna, Shubham, and Rafi. Sujit, what is this uh, Flex Gateway that is uh, newly introduced? In Mu? Yeah. I didn't have to have to go through. Okay. Flex Gateway. And this one also. Platform I have seen recently introduced yeah. that one. Flex Gateway yeah. and existing gateway like that, right? And yeah, not yet yeah. gone through the Flex Gateway. We are still using. Uh, and i think you are talking about let me open that i have already gone through i mean another batches when i am explaining the concept there i have seen that flex gateway i didn't get any time to go and also there is something new uh, uh, id Mainly, that sorry, is developed for uh, uh, visual studio code visual Star, visual stable and develop you are talking about sorry stable and develop Uh, I don't know the name, but I know that from VS Code you can create flows, mules of flows. Oh, uh, basic flows. I think so. It might be basic flows or something. Ah, uh, of course we are going to import an AML file. From that file also you can see the basic flows are getting generated. Okay. Any code for that matter is not only for AML. They have added a new feature. Any code you can import and uh, uh, you can get a new uh, basic flows will get generated. I will explain about that. Okay. Let's see here. Yes. Add an API, and here you need to say this yeah, one. Flex gateway. Yeah. You need to have an API first. Ultra fast API gateway designed to manage and secure API running anywhere. Okay. API gateway. This is what we are commonly do. Once you create the proxy, you can apply the policies on this gateway. Maybe this, this gateway, is. Uh, yeah. hmm? This new gateway is it deployed on premise or on any? Uh, no, no, no. You can have two options only. Okay. Two options. Basic endpoint. I mean, you can deploy on a hybrid model by using a proxy and all. I mean, by using the uh, sorry. If you deploy a proxy, you have two ways: cloud app deployment and hybrid deployment. If you have, if you don't have a proxy, only if you want to go with the existing application, you need to deploy on on-premises. If you're going with a proxy, you can deploy on a cloud app on a hybrid, not on on-premises. What, what do you mean by a uh, proxy? Proxy is a gateway. See, in this picture, if you can see here in the 730 in another batch, proxy is a dummy of your original API. Got it. Got it. It it will be just uh, just uh, before before the request comes to the original application. I want yeah, something in between to validate it as a gateway. Okay. See here, proxies. When the client sends a request, first proxy will hit. When the policy is applied on that, the validate it will validate here itself. 
If it is valid, then only it will send to the original application. Otherwise, from there, it will give an exception back. Okay. 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 That is called gateway. So it is just uh, doing source to target IP translations. Yeah, exactly. Many of the technical terminals are there. Uh, I mean, in my sessions, I will not use much sophisticated technologies because I want uh, everyone to understand the concept. So I will go with a simple language. Mm, I see. Yeah. Any other questions, guys? If no, we will wind up the session. Thanks for your time. Hopefully, we will see in our sessions. Uh, I have six confirmations as of now Kishore, Sumit, Ganga, Supriya. Prashant, Mubarak. That's correct. Krishna, I, okay. I didn't count. I mean, I didn't get any information about Krishna, so I didn't count. Uh, Krishna did message me. Okay, okay. So Shubham, Rafi, and Govardhan. Govardhan, he left, I think, so earlier. Shubham, who is your coordinator? You only, I think, Balaji. Yes, yes, I'll check you. Yeah, please contact him and let me know. Yeah. So guys who are confirmed, please pay the payment to the respect, uh, coordinator and let them inform me with your mail ladies so that I will be sharing the documents what I showed the zip files. You can download and keep it ready on your desktop before starting all the sessions. Yeah. All right. Sounds great. Thank you very much. Thank you so much guys. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your time. We'll see in our sessions from day after tomorrow. Sessions are going to start from day after tomorrow. At the okay. same time on same link. Thank you. Thank you.